Hey everyone, it's the Musician and Makeup, and it is time for another Cosmetics Class 101 video. I was looking through my videos the other day and realized that I haven't done one of these videos in so long, and I'm so sorry for those of you who like and are watching this series, um, but today I decided to do another one because I haven't done one in so long, and today's Cosmetics Class 101 is going to be all about powder. Now I'm going to talk about the couple different types of powder that there are and how to apply it properly because even though probably 90% of women out there will use powder, it's one of the most basic pieces of makeup that almost everybody has in their kit because it's so multifunctional. Um, you know, a lot of people tend to over apply it and get that very powdery, cakey sort of look. So I'm going to talk to you about the two different types of powders that there are and the best way that I have found to apply it. Now, the first kind of powder is pressed powder, which is what you see most often. And this one's just by CoverGirl. It's the one that I've been using um, pretty much ever, ever since I started doing makeup. Um, it gives a really nice light coverage, um, definitely very oil absorbing, so I really, really like this powder a lot. Um, and another type of powder that there is aside from pressed powder is loose powder. Now this one's by e.l.f., it's a powder foundation, and I don't like this one as much as my pressed powder. I think the pressed powder is a little bit easier to use, but what, we, what you would do to use this is just tap it into the lid and swirl it onto a brush and then put it on your face. This one you just swirl your brush in and then get it all over your face. Um, the third type of powder that there really is, and I don't really have an example of this with me, is um, like a translucent powder, some kind of powder that doesn't have any color. And the only purpose it serves is to set um, any foundation or any type of liquid blush or concealer that you put on your face. Um, it doesn't provide any sort of coverage like these two do because they have some pigmentation to them, so they're going to help cover redness. Um, but translucent, translucent powder is really just for setting any type of liquid makeup that you put on your face. Now I'm just going to demo really quick how I apply my powder and the best way that I found to avoid that powdery cakey look. Just taking my pressed powder which I used every day, you'll see that there's a little bit of shine on, on my nose, on my forehead, in the area that is normally referred to as the T-zone, which sort of makes a T, so that's why it's called the T-zone. So what I do is I just take my powder and a very large powder brush, just kind of tap it in until I get some on the brush, just like that. It's not a lot, and this is all that I'm going to use. I'm just going to dust it across my forehead, and down onto my nose, and whatever is left, just work across your cheeks and down onto your chin. But we're really mainly going to focus it in your T-zone and on your nose. Now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I definitely can notice um, that the shine has gone down a lot. You don't want to put so much powder on that your face is completely matte. Some people do tend to like that look. I like my, to leave my skin a little bit dewy, which is why I don't use a ton of powder. So that is how I apply my powder and a little bit about all the different kinds of powder that there are out there. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and that you gained something from it. Um, if you have any questions, just as always, leave them below and I will definitely do my best to respond to them. And until my next Cosmetics Class 101, I will see you next time. Bye.